Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Tract Optics Torque. 34 millimeter tube, four and a half to 30 by 56. Look at this range footage. This is shot through a camera at 100 yards in 95 degree heat. Look at the clarity of this scope. Look at the clarity of that image. You can't get that in lesser scopes, period. Now guys are always asking me, how does this compare to my favorite Vortex? Is it as good as the Viper PST? Think way, way higher than that. Vortex Razor Gen 2, the AMG Vortex, this thing is every bit as good as any of those. But right now, I'll just pick on the Gen 2 Razor, which is a really nice scope. This thing is $500 cheaper. It's almost a half pound lighter. It focuses closer. It goes to a higher magnification. The turrets are incredible. The tracking you're just gonna get blown away by. Look at the footage that I got coming up. I'm gonna show you the footage before I even show you this thing up close just so you can see how incredible a scope this is. As you can tell, I'm amped up about it and this is the kind of scope that it's easy to get amped up about. All right, enough of my talk. Let's look at what happened at the range. I'll show it to you up close and I'll be right back. Okay, here it is at the range. Now you can look right here through the scope, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like, but look at how clear this thing is at 100 yards. And if you'll look, you can't even see the edges of the scope. That's how much I've got it zoomed in. Now the target here on the left-hand side is the mill radian target. Look at how every single dot lines up. Exactly, not close, freaking exactly the way it's supposed to. You just don't see scopes doing this very often. All right, now here's a quick look at the illumination. I wasn't able to film through the illumination because it's a true usable illumination that's really only visible when the sun sets. It was really sunny that day. Right here's the focus point of impact check. I go all the way from one extreme to the other. The only movement that you're seeing is my hand moving the knob. Here comes the vertical tracking. I started right in the center on that mill radian target. I'm going to bring it right back to center. And just as soon as I do, I'll be going to the horizontal tracking. Again, look, when I come back to zero, how precisely it always lines up every single freaking time. Here comes the box test. I'm going to run it one full revolution in every direction. Bring it right back to zero. Now, after I finish the box test here, you're going to see the turret value test. I'm starting it at center. I'm going to run it three mils down all the way up one mil at a time and make sure that it stops exactly where it should. Now, the image on the left is not very clear. My camera battery went dead. I had to film this through my phone, but I do have this synced up so you can see exactly how precise this is. Watch every one stops right in the center, not close, dead center. Right back to zero, there it is. All right, guys, here it is, the turret torture. All right, now normally I do this for about 20 seconds. What I do, I get it centered up. I just sit here and twist and go nuts on the turrets. Check this out. Here comes my fire starter on the vertical turret. Your scope, you shouldn't have to do this to it, but here's my thinking. This is a pretty freaking high-end scope. It should be able to take anything I can throw at it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now watch here, I'm gonna bring it right back to zero. Horizontal and vertical, no, not yet. I'm not quite through with your butt yet. I'm gonna keep on twisting, keep on yanking until I bring it right back to zero again. I'm gonna get it right here with the windage. I'm gonna play with the vertical, run past it a few more times. Check this out. I'm aiming for the middle dot. Uh, not yet, not yet. No, not yet. Let's go all the way down, all the way back. There you go. That's what precision looks like. And just for fun, I shot a tomato out there at 100 yards, kind of giving you prairie dog hunters an idea of what it'll look like up close when you bust something with this scope on your rifle. Here it is up close. As you can see, it's got this beautiful titanium type finish. It is just an incredible looking scope as well as how it performs. Here's everything that comes in the box. Just one second, we'll look at it all one piece at a time. All right, it's got a finish match, three inch sunshade that has zero glare on the inside of it. The zero stop that's made out of machined aluminum and it works fantastic. It's got a little set of pop-on scope covers, a cleaning cloth, 
and the battery that goes in it that works for the illumination and it comes with these wrenches one works on the turrets the other works on the zero stop i'll show you that a little further right now let's start with the eyepiece like most scopes nowadays this thing has a fast focus eyepiece and it has a really nice rubber ring you can see right there between my fingers this thing has zero play and is incredibly smooth every dial every knob on this scope feels like you're turning the power knob on a high-end amplifier i'm not exaggerating in any way everything about it just screams precision tight tolerances and just a great great freaking design this thing is a pleasure to play with now right here on the sides illumination it's 11 step with an off in between each setting and when you have the illumination set right you can see every single line and every single number in that etched reticle now it has a side focus that goes down to 25 yards to infinity again it turns just as smooth as everything else on this scope it is just hard to put into words what something this precise feels like there's the turrets listen to this now you can hear and feel these turrets without a freaking doubt they push pull lock on the horizontal and the vertical there's almost zero play what little that there is is because you're pulling it up so high but when you push that thing down to engage it it locks up like a vice side turret is the exact same way they're marked with numbers left and right so you know which way to turn it and it gives you a feedback on how many mil radians you've actually moved it i love the turrets on this scope now right here they have the rev counter so it's easy to keep up exactly where you had it zeroed and once you get your scope zeroed to reset the zero on the turret all you have to do is take off that little screw sealed with o-rings i'll show you in just a second turn your turret back to zero reinstall it push it all the way down put the screw back on tighten it up there you go your zero is exactly where you want it and it just takes one screw to adjust it and it is super freaking solid now once you get that done if you want to set the zero stop just take the screw back out once you do pull the turret off now right here you're going to see some o-rings and this thing has o-rings out the butt and everything is tight including the machining on the inside of the turret and on the turret assembly itself really really high quality stuff there's the bottom pin for the zero stop there's the pin that's on the zero stop itself to adjust the zero stop you back out the three little screws that are on it put the pin in and turn it clockwise and it'll stop now as soon as it stops take the small allen wrench tighten it up very gently all the way around you don't need to bind this thing up and really bear down on it just get it where it's good and snug put the turret back on set it back to zero put the screw in tighten it up and check this out all right you unlock it turn it bam <laughs> i mean it's like it hits a brick wall bam <laughs> i am digging the zero stop on this thing you've got to feel it a lot of these zero stops have a little give this one doesn't okay guys now i know there's going to be some vortex fanboys out there that are not going to like this video i looked at this scope back to back back to freaking back with the new vortex razor gen 2 it wasn't even close the image on this the colors were better the image was flatter the reticle was sharper it's just a better scope and this will show you what a man can get when he buys directly from the company full lifetime guaranteed don't worry about the vortex warranty believe me i bought vortex scopes and a lot of times they spend more time going back and forth to vortex for warranty work than they spend on top of my guns oh my. this thing right here you mount it on a long range precision rifle which is where i'm planning on mounting this thing tighten her down and just go to work and never have to worry about it again and blow away everybody on the freaking range thanks for watching guys and thanks to track y'all nailed it with this one see you